Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing very important and interesting topic counting figures. As we all know that we will be getting questions from counting figures in competitive examinations like SSC, RRB, when you are writing these particular examinations, you will be getting questions frequently in examinations. Then actually if you are going to count them in a normal way, it consumes a lot of time. So what we will be doing is like, we will be discussing simple short tricks to solve these questions in examinations so that you can mark these answers in just 2 seconds of time. And you know that most commonly we will be coming across counting figures from squares, rectangles, triangles will be coming across all these figures so we'll be discussing each and every figure in detail how many squares you have in a figure how many triangles you have in a figure how many rectangles you have in a figure we will discuss all this with simple tricks and if you observe most frequently you'll be getting questions from triangles why because in triangles you'll be having more number of variations so what we'll be doing is like we'll be solving some previous questions so that you'll be getting a clear idea on that how to apply the applications in those diagrams and get those answers in just two seconds of time okay if you are new to our channel and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you'll be getting the notification once the video is uploaded and i need all you guys to share our videos with maximum number of persons try to reach with maximum number of persons why because i need support from you guys and i am going to come across with really the best content so let us calculate how many triangles are there in this particular figures and counting triangles is really important why because examiners ask more frequently from triangles why because in triangles you'll be having more variations when compared with square and rectangle square and rectangle are like really simple why because the variations whatever you have in square and rectangle are like less number of variations but if you look at triangles triangle will have more number of variations even if you have more number of variations we'll have simple and beautiful techniques for that so i'll be showing you all those tricks just you need to observe that if you look at square and rectangle you'll be having only few variations even though you'll have trick there as well we can mark those answers okay now what you'll be doing is like counting number of triangles is like very very important why because these questions come frequently in examinations based upon triangles you'll be getting questions frequently in examination let us observe here now if you look at this particular figure look at this particular figure and say how many triangles you have in this particular figure if you look at figure how many triangles you have in this particular figure yes in this figure you have one triangle everyone can see that let us say example if the figure is in this way how many triangles you have in this particular figure in this you need a total of three triangles did you see three triangles yes if you observe here this is one triangle this is one more triangle and both of them combined together this will be one more triangle so total you have like three triangles in this particular figure okay let us example if it is in this way total how many triangles are there in this total you'll have like six triangles six triangles you'll be having there if you look in this way how many triangles are there here in this you'll be having total 10 triangles now you may feel like how i'm going to say these answers without counting that yes we have a simple awesome technique for this what you just need to do is like observe here i will be showing you what is the technique once if you know the technique even you can calculate it faster let us example if someone asks us in this way how many triangles are there if i go on increasing what happens is like even calculating number of triangles will be simple even if the figure is going to be bigger figure it's not a problem calculating number of triangles will be simple once if you know the trick but if you does not know the trick calculating it orally it consumes a lot of time so i'll be showing you the trick observe here carefully now if you look here in this figure how many triangles are there in this figure total you have three triangles yes totally you have three triangles this is one triangle this is one triangle and both of them it's like one more triangle so total three triangles how to get that simply what you will be doing is like write the numbers write the numbers one and two and you can say it as one plus two total you are going to have three triangles simple calculation now the same do here write the numbers 1 2 and 3 1 plus 2 plus 3 1 plus 2 plus 3 and you can say total you have six triangles in this particular figure if you look here 1 2 3 4 you can simply say 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and you can simply say total you have 10 triangles in this particular figure if you look at this one 1 2 3 
4, 5. You can say 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Total you can say 15 triangles in this particular figure. Simply what you will dislike? Sum of n natural numbers. When you do sum of n natural numbers, then you will automatically come to know how many triangles you can form in this particular figure. Now let us example how many triangles are there in this particular figure. As I know the technique, you can do it directly now. Okay. Simple. The technique is like really simple. You will go on writing the numbers. You will go on writing the numbers one at a time in each and every division. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. Okay. Once you do that, what you will do is like if the size is like bigger size, then what you will do sum of n natural numbers. Formula is like n into n plus 1 by 2. Or if it is like smaller size, you can add these numbers. Or you can go with n into n plus 1 by 2. Even if you go with n into n plus 1 by 2, sum of n natural numbers, even you can get the answer. Now let us say how many triangles are there in this figure. Let us look 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So simply do n into n plus 1 by 2. As n value is 9, so sum of n natural numbers, n into n plus 1 by 2, if you apply 9 into 10 by 2. So 2 goes here 5 times. So we can say that totally you are going to have 45 triangles in this particular figure. Okay simple calculations what you will do is like you will write one number at a time in each and every division and add all of them together that is like sum of n natural numbers and we can say that number of triangles how many are going to have in this particular figures as simple as that okay now if you look here sometimes what happens is like examiners may ask us the same questions directly sometimes what happens is like you'll be getting questions based upon these applications now whatever i'm trying to say these are like basic formations based upon these basics you'll be getting questions in exam examinations sometimes the questions may be directly from basics sometimes the questions may be application of these basics okay now let us look at one more formation let us look at one more formation observe here carefully so what you will be doing is like observe carefully later on you can say you can write your notes or whatever it may be you can do it later first observe here let us say example if the figure is in this way let us say example if the figure is in this way and if i ask you how many triangles are there in this particular figure yes so look at this and say how many triangles are there in this particular figure in this figure you can say there is one triangle yes yes now let us say example if i draw in this way how many triangles are there in this particular figure can you see how many triangles are there you will be having total two triangles from here if you are unable to see it let us modify this diagram once and I will draw it one more time. Now, if you look here, instead of drawing a line here, if I draw a line here, how many are there now? Two are there. Yes. Why? Because one smaller one and one bigger one. So, totally you will have like two triangles from here. The same whatever I have done here, instead of drawing a line here, I have represented line here. Even if I represent line here, I am going to get one more new triangle here. Yes. So, simply I can say that for first initial figure i have one triangle now how many triangles are there means now how many means totally you have like three triangles in this particular figure now let us say if it is in this way how many triangles are there four triangles let us say if you have in this way how many triangles are there five triangles simply speaking for each and every line you are going to get one new triangle why because initially it was in this way that is like your first figure your first figure was in this way when you go on adding the base new triangle starts increasing so now if you look here this is like one triangle if you add one more base you'll get one more triangle if you can add one more base you'll get one more triangle if you add one more base you'll get one more triangle if you add one more base you'll get one more triangle which means if you go on adding the bases you'll be getting number of triangles more and more now if you look here how many triangles are there in this particular figure means one 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 so for each base one one triangle total how many base are there one two three four five six so you can say that total i'm going to have six triangles in this particular figure okay simple calculations now what we'll be doing is like the same application i am going to show with respect to these particular figures now if you look here here what happens is like for each base one triangle one triangle one triangle one triangle it is in this way now if you look here in this in this how many triangles are there means three triangles now let us example if i represent in this way how many triangles are there means you are supposed to say three plus three six triangles yes why because if you look here in this 
for this base it is not one triangle for this base you are going to get three triangles yes now if you look at here for this base i will get three more triangles why because for this place for this base one plus two three triangles similarly you have one more figure one plus two three triangles if i represent one more figure one plus two three triangles if i represent one more figure you can say one plus two three triangles which means for every base i am going to get three 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 triangles extra here what happened for every base i am getting one one triangle extra why because initially I have only one triangle so that is the reason if I go on increasing the basis what happens is like I will be going on one 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 triangle extra but here what happens is like initially I have three triangles so for each base I will get three 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 extra so total how many are there means 3 into 4 I can say total you have 12 triangles why because you have total 1 2 3 4 4 bases so 3 into 4 it will be 12 triangles let us look at this particular figure if you look here now let us say the figure is in this way how many triangles are there if you look here for this base you will get one triangle six triangles for this base you will get six triangles for this base you will get six triangles total you have three bases so you can say 6 into 3 you are going to get 18 triangles from this particular figure simple thing okay if once the bases go on increasing then automatically what you will do is like for each base number of triangles also starts increasing now if you look here in this now if you look here the figure is in this way if the figure is in this way how many triangles are going to have here now if you look at how many bases you have one two three as you have three bases each base will have 10 triangles so total how many means you will be having 10 into 3 that is nothing but total 30 triangles in this particular figure okay let us example say for this one you say for this one i will be representing a figure and you say how many triangles are going to form in this particular figure say what is answer for this particular question yes answer for this question will be 60 triangles why because if you observe here here look one base two base three base four base for each and every base you'll get 15 15 15 so you'll have total four bases 15 into 4 we can say that total you have 60 triangles in this particular figure simple calculations okay so whatever we have learned here the same application we are trying to insert over here once you use the same application for each and every base the number of triangles starts increasing once it is going to increase on you can say totally will be having 60 triangles in this particular figure sometimes the figures can be in this way as well okay observe here carefully sometimes figures will be in this way as well so if the figure is in this way how many triangles are going to be there you observe carefully and you say what would be answer for this particular question okay so observe this carefully and say what would be the answer for this particular question is it clear okay now look now if you look here if you look at this one one two one two three four 1, 2, 3, 4, so totally it is like 10, which means you will have 10 triangles for this base. For this base, you have total 10 triangles. For this base also, you will have total 10 triangles. Now, if you look here, for this base, now if you look here, this is not a full line. Initially, the line is from here to here, that is from starting to ending. But here, the line is not from starting to ending. The line is starting from this point and the line is only from this point. Now, some of us say what? As the line is half, you will be saying like 10 half is like 5. If you say 10 half is 5, it is like wrong why because 10 half it's not 5 10 half it may be 5 but the concept here is like if the line is from here to here that is like total line 10 if it is like line is half it's like 5 that is not the concept what the concept is like you need to write the numbers inside that when you write the numbers and when you add all of them together the resultant value will say us how many triangles are there now if you look here now it is starting from here to here now if you write the numbers 1 2 so 1 plus 2 I need to say it as 3 but I'm not supposed to say it as 5 okay now if you look here it is starting from here and from till here so 1 2 1 plus 2 I can say it as 3 if you look here this is from here to here 1 plus 2 I can say this is 3 more and if you look here it is from here to here 1 2 3 I can say it is 6 so simply speaking look the starting point look the ending point and write the numbers inside that once you write the numbers inside that and if you add them together the result and value will say us how many rectangles sorry how many triangles are going to form with respect to the given base so total how many triangles are there means 10 plus 10 20 and after this one 3 3 3 that is like 3 3 times it will be 9 29 plus 6 29 plus 6 i can say that total we are going to have 35 triangles from this particular figure okay so 10 plus 10 20 20 plus 9 29 29 plus 6 will be having total 35 triangles from this particular figure okay so simple calculation i will give one more example so say how many triangles are going to be there in this particular figure so listen carefully 
and say how many triangles will be there in this particular figure observe it carefully so look at this and say how many triangles you'll get from this particular figure and what you guys need to do is like try to share our channel with maximum number of persons maximum 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 try to share with maximum when you try and share with maximum number of persons it will be a real boost up for me i will be coming across with more and more interesting and smart techniques so you guys what would you like just to share our channel try to share with maximum number of persons definitely we are going to promise in our channel we'll be coming across with best and best techniques which will really help you to crack your examinations as early as possible definitely chennan logics is going to be part of your success it's a promise definitely it's a promise i need only help from you that is like share our channel with maximum number of persons i need your support definitely i need your support without your support i can't manage all these things okay fine say say how many triangles are going to be there in this particular figure now now, if you look here 1 2 3 4 5 6 total if you add this will be like 21 this will be 21 this will be also 21 why because base is from here to here now 1 2 3 4 5 so totally it's like 5 you can say this is 15 1 2 3 4 5 this is 15 more 1 2 3 4 this is 10 more so total how many are there means 15 plus 15 30 30 plus 10 40 40 plus 41 we can say it is sorry 40 plus 42 we can say it is total we have 82 triangles in this particular figure okay so simply what you will do is like check where it is starting and where it is ending and go on writing the numbers once if you go on writing the numbers and if you add all of them together the resultant value will say us how many triangles are going to be formed from the given base once if you know the triangles then automatically you need to add all of them together once if you add all of them together then you'll come to know how many triangles are there in this particular figure now these are one of the variations that come across in examinations we'll have some more variations as well i will be discussing you now hope you guys have enjoyed this session if you think that this session is helpful for you and if you need more of such interesting and smart logics then please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you'll be getting the notification once the video is uploaded and i need all you guys to share our videos with maximum number of persons try to share with your friends your family members your facebook groups your whatsapp groups and try to reach maximum number of persons thank you have a nice day meet in the next session